Good morning, everyone. This is Tracy Lynn Banks. I just wanted to share um, a little bit about what the Lord has been talking to me about today. Um, it's actually one day before my birthday. My birthday's tomorrow, y'all. Ooh, I'm getting up there. I love it. I'm so grateful for the Lord to allow me to see another birthday. It's not here yet, but I'm believing I'm going to see tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus, in advance. Um, I want to share a little bit about taking the masks off. That That's an area for me that the Lord has been dealing with, me just being, learning rather, to be my authentic self, to, to be the person that he's called me to be. And I did take a little bit of notes this time. I mean, I take notes all the time. I'm just going to be reading from them a little bit more today than I have on just the other few videos that I have I have shared with you guys. Um, but again, like I said, as I go forth and, and be and do what God has called me to, to do, um, I, I'm finding it to be a little bit more challenging to take the mask off. You know, when you get used to wearing a mask or um, putting up this facade, you do it long enough. You you definitely lose yourself. You and, and I lost myself over the years. So I just wanted to share and to be open um, just about what, what the Lord is doing. At the end of the day, it's not about me. No way. It's about me doing what the Father up in heaven has called me to do, what he's called me to say, and who he has called me to be. I'm excited about that journey. And 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 two, God cannot bless who we pretend to be. He got to bless the real you, the real me. That's who he's going to bless, not, not this facade that we may put up. Um, and like I said, even though it's challenging at times... Um, I know that the Lord is going to bless me. I know that he's going to help me to get through it. He's going to help you too to get through it, to, to find out who you really are. Uh, Philippians 4 and 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I can do this. I, I can find the real me. That may sound silly for some people. You know, I didn't want to share because I'm in my 50s. Just now learning um, who I am. Just now learning uh to, to be who God called me to be, to really open up like a package, to be to allow God to open me up and see all of the gifts and the talents that he has put down in there as he bring them out and as he revealed to me who I am in Christ. I'm going to just look at this real quick. Um, and again, as I embark on this new journey, um, listen, y'all. God is so awesome and he's so amazing. I almost don't know what to say or how to put it into words, but God is carefully and lovingly teaching me to just take the mask off, remove it, Tracy, be that beautiful person that I created you to be. We got to find the beauty in ourselves. You know, the, the gifts and things that God put down in there. And he's doing it with me so lovingly and so patiently. I could wear a facade real good. I, I could pretend that everything was okay and hold it all together real good. I was good at that. I was good at confirming, conforming to whatever environment I was in. I, I was good at, good at that. I just put put the mask on and pretend just to be somebody else. So it's awesome that we can actually, we can trust the Lord to be our real selves. He'll handle you with care. He'll carefully just remove this, the things and say, it's okay, child. It's okay, daughter. It's okay, son. Let's take this off so I can deal with the real you. So I can show you who I created you to be. God is awesome and amazing like that. So remember to be real with him. Let's take the mask off. Let's take the facade off. And we can trust our loving and he heavenly father to be gentle with us, to handle us with care. I want to share real quick um, a little snippet of the book I'm writing. It's just it's just a little portion, and I just want to read it to you. So please bear with me. I, I'm not comfortable reading it and when you know you're reading to people, you kind of stumble over words, but nevertheless, here it is. It says, as I think back over 
this part of my life. It's certainly hard to put into words everything that transpired during this time because I did a lot. Some things I really don't want to mention because I don't. Um, but I will say that I did not know who I was. I mean, I always knew I was a giver. That, that I do. I always knew I had a good, a good heart. I knew that part. But I was always so busy trying to be someone else all the time. You know, whatever he liked, then I like. If I have to be honest, actually, I didn't even always like it. Now, I, I just did it anyway. I just found myself doing it anyway. It wasn't just with the guys I was with. But it was also with my female friends. I tried to be like them. I tried to dress like them. Who was I? I didn't know. I had young girls look up to me and admiring me. They had no idea who they were looking up to. I said what I thought sounded good or what I thought other people wanted to hear. But what was I really teaching them? To be fake? To put on a mask? To wear a facade? Or was I teaching them to be tougher than, I, than the real me? I was teaching them what I thought was a better me. I didn't like or know who I was. That's just a little bit of um, what's in the book, part of the journey that I'm talking about. Um, and when I tell you the book is God-given, it is God-given. I had no plans on writing anything, especially about myself. I am a 100% background person. I I didn't mind, you know, working in hospitality in the back or finance somewhere in, in the back or the usher board. I didn't consider that, you know, I was at the back door. I, I was okay with that. You know, just things done in the background. Never a, a forerunner kind of person, a front runner rather kind of person. I did it. So the Lord's been dealing with me about this book, which is simply called Becoming Me. I'm so excited for, for it. Y'all pray for me as I remove the mask, taking off the mask and learning to be who God created me to be, the real me. I can't wait to get to know her. I'm learning a little bit about her. Some I like, some I do not like. Can't wait to change it. But um, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, if you, if I have one thing, I guess, to really leave about that is you can trust God to be the real you. Flaws and all, mistakes and all, you can trust him. He'll handle you with care. He'll love you and be patient with you. This is not an easy journey. It's not going to be overnight and get like this overnight. I ain't going to change overnight. It's not going to happen. So, um, but I do trust him. I do trust our loving and awesome Heavenly Father as I go on this journey to be with me always. He promised never to leave us or forsake us. He's true to his word. He cannot lie. Listen, if you don't know Jesus and you want to have um, that personal relationship with him, you can do that. You can accept Christ into your heart. One of the scriptures that, that we grew up reading all the time, and I still, I still believe this to be true, and it's Romans 10 and 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. We can pray this. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for my sins, that you rose again and that you live today. We, we can pray that. We can believe that. With all of our heart, just ask me, come into my heart, change me from the inside out. That's where it starts, on the inside. Outside things don't always change. I repent of my sins. I am yours. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. So from, from the inside out, he can change everything. Pray, read your Bible, study, ask God to transform you. It's not an overnight thing. It's a continual thing. It's not about religion. It's about relationship. It's not about changing everything on the outside. It's about changing what's on the inside first. You can do that. You can, you will have, you can have them in your life uh, today. Just ask him and he will do that. He will change you from the inside out. Listen, if you are new in Christ and um, I just want to encourage you to enjoy your new journey. 
If you have fallen away and you just came back, enjoy your renewed life with Christ. I love you all. I pray that you got something out of it. Be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful day.